New at 10, a restaurant in Cupertino is facing backlash on social media after adding an automatic 18% service charge to all tables, including parties of one. Now the owners say they're being harassed for the policy that was put in place nearly a year ago, a policy that is similar to what many restaurants here in the Bay Area have already implemented. KTV South Bay reporter LaMonica Peters joining us live now from Cupertino with more now from the owners, the employees, and their customers. LaMonica? The owners of Faux Hanoi say they followed state law when they added the service charge and they always tell their customers about it. But when a post about the policy change went viral, they say they started receiving racist calls and threats. So it's either they're going to put it in the menu prices or they're going to make it pretty clear to the consumer where the money was going. Regular customers at Faux Hanoi in Cupertino say they've known about the automatic 18% service charge since the policy changed last year. The charge is explained on the menu and there's a sign posted near the entrance. You're getting top grade meat, the best broth I've ever had. You're getting a quality meal and I think just adding it in, it makes it more simple. I think people are kind of wondering what they should do after the bill. This way it's already there. This receipt was recently posted on Reddit, expressing concern about the restaurant's automatic 18% charge for all tables. Thousands of people commented, some questioning why the restaurant would add the tip for serving one person, and the owners have an explanation. Whatever I do, just only want to serve customer better and keep the good worker, because if I don't pay them well, they have the right to leave my Russian. Nguyen says they added the charge last November and 100% of it is used for staff members. The owners say customers are allowed to ask for it to be removed if they aren't satisfied with the service. Still, they believe people online who don't eat at their restaurant are unfairly criticizing them. A lot of people raise it and they call to my restaurant and they yell at my employee and they ask us to close the business, blah, 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 and that's not nice to do that because yeah, we are trying to do that because the service worker don't have enough pay uh, for the ex a very expensive living in the Bay Area right now. Now, one of the workers also told me that because of this new service charge, he doesn't have to work two jobs anymore. The owners also say that they do pay for health care for their employees, and this service charge is something that a lot of local restaurants also have in place. Alex? Yeah, this, this whole thing looks like it's been really tough on the owners of that restaurant. La Monica, from the video, I mean, it looks like the place was really crowded today. What, what, what have they seen in, in terms of business since this post went viral? Um, business hasn't changed. I think one of the things they emphasized was that a lot of the people on that social media post had never been to their restaurant and weren't regular customers, people that patronize their restaurant. We spoke to a, a couple of the customers and they seemed to be very satisfied. They knew about it. They didn't really have a problem with it. So I don't think it's impacting their business. Yeah. I just think they're more concerned about the not so nice calls and threats that they've been getting. Yeah, absolutely. All right, LaMonica Peters, live for us tonight in Cupertino. LaMonica, thank you.